guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. So glad you're here. Hey, I had my um, first winner of the FaceTime private lesson today. Her name was Linda. We had a blast. We had so much fun. And um, I'm going to show you a picture of hers. I'll put it right now. And this is what I did. Now, mind you, there were two ingredients, the Zinser and the Bear 7300 that um, she didn't have. So we worked with what we had. It's basically a, um, a recipe with the deco art, satin enamels, and then the artist loft and the apple barrel. And then we just um, put in the, uh, the pouring mediums and the water and the flow trowel. So that was that one. So what I've done with that is this mixture, I've added the zinser and I've added the bare, just a little bit of the bare satin enamels, 7300. And I'm gonna try, I wanna see what the difference is. And I've also mixed up, this is a TLP in pinwheel. So my colors are, this is Liquitex. Liquitex uh, Deep Violet. Yes, that's what it is. And this is Payne's Gray by Liquitex, but I've added just a little bit of the Golden. Oh, Jesus, Payne's Gray. I'll have to get that off. And this was Liquitex. Oh, there's something in there. This was Liquitex Rose, I think it's called, but I didn't, it was too fifi foo foo, too like baby pink. So I added a little bit of Quinacridone Violet from Golden in here to, just to tone it down a little bit and to give it a little bit better hue to go with my other purple. All right, let's get that off here. All right. So, I'm doing, this is a used canvas. I got a drip on it, so I decided to use it. I'm not that happy with those cells. I think that's when we discovered that the artist loft was bad. So I'm just gonna put down a base. I'm probably gonna put you guys on, see I didn't really touch that. I did like two little things. Um, and I'm gonna probably put you on fast time lapse. So you can see it develop quickly. I've decided I'm going to go corner to corner like this to eliminate having to waste a lot of paint. And I I did a cloud pour recently with uh, Tracy Reed's cups. And oh yeah, there's two bumps. It, there was a it looks like there was, whatever. <laughs> looks like there was, it was sitting up against another canvas. That's okay, this is just a, a test. I'll probably end up turning out to be a masterpiece, right? No, just kidding. <laughs> um, so what we wanna do, and um, Linda learned this today, is you have to get enough paint off. You have to, have to, have to tilt the bajibas out of it. There's a couple other artists I've been watching that are relatively new to YouTube and it's like, their work is amazing. Louise McKay Art. And I think it's Art by Cindy. Really good stuff. I mean, yeah. Go and check them out. Oh, this is the boring part, right? Tilt, tilt, tilt. But you can see that there is a river coming down. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right at the bottom, besides that bump, I should have um, sprayed the back of it. I don't know if it's too late now. You know what, let's just try it, what the heck. 
might take that bump out. Okay, so since we tilted it that way, we gotta tilt it back this way. I'm really interested to see if the zinser really makes that much of a difference. So I just put a quarter squeeze, a quarter, um, a third of the, um, yeah, a third, not a quarter. <laughs> Getting my math all mixed up. Yeah, a third of the, of um, a pipette in there. I think I've got enough paint off. I did not prep my sides again. Jeez Louise. I'm a little off kilter tonight. Don't like what's going on in the world right now. But we're not gonna talk about that here because this is a happy place. Yeah. Anyhow. All right, whatever way you've tilted, if you tilted some off, you have to tilt it the other way again. All right, let me wash my hands real quick. And I just mixed up this pinwheel. So there's a grand possibility that there's bubbles in it. So what I'm gonna do, you know what I did last time? I, um, I made an S with it. Um, I don't know if I can do it with this thing. I'm gonna try and do an alphabet. <laughs> it's pretty cool. For the composition, yeah, why not, eh? Now I'm gonna put the thin enough, we don't know. I better put it just a little bit more water in it. If it's too thick, it causes problems. That's kind of cool. So maybe I'll go through the whole alphabet with these. <laughs> these are really cool because you can pinch them. A. I'm a goof. There's way too much paint on here. All right, there's my A. So I'm gonna give it a light, little torch. A torch. Oh, that pinwheel is gonna look so pretty. And I have a special recipe for the pinwheel to work in. Um, um, it's not the it's not the recipe that Mina does. It's, she does the the tipsy piggy. This one um, is good for um, thin pours like this. All right, let's see what this egg can do. I thought it was kind of a cool idea for a different kind of composition, eh? Eh? <laughs> tilt, tilt, tilt. That's how we get our pearls. And I was really happy. Actually, Linda was really happy with the pearls she got. She said that when she was doing her pearl pours before, she was only getting two or three pearls. Well, let me tell you, she had a pearl explosion. It was really cool. I have to admit. Oh, that pinwheel's looking really special. This is gonna be kind of neat. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do different letters for the composition. Just for giggles, eh? So this is our A. It's 
still moving pretty quickly down here. If your paint's still moving, you still need to tilt. Now, if you're getting a lot of cells or, or pearls right away, and you want to, um, you might want to stop and go the other way, but then you, you risk um, pooling your paint. Oh, this is going to be cool. I do believe. All right, now we do want to go the other way now because we want to have some pearls on this edge. And I have a tendency to not be patient enough to let it go all the way down. So, and it's a vertical tilt. It's really seriously 90 degrees. Yep. That's why it's really hard to show you. <laughs> All right, it's getting close to the center now. All right. Oh, oh my gosh, I love that pinwheel. Oh, way too cool. Okay, I'm going to give this a torch and put you on fast time lapse, and I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna go take a break. <laughs> wow, that was so much work, Michelle. <laughs> you need a break already. <laughs> All right that corner, that's where I was touching it. Oh, that's gonna be pretty. All right. Okay, I'm gonna put you on time lapse. There you are. Whoops, there you are. So, um, yeah, check out that. I can't believe the pinwheel. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. That is way cool. You had to fish out a couple bugs. But uh, yeah, I like the composition. A is good. And, um, I don't know if you can see the difference between these pearls and these pearls. Now you can fix these pearls when it dries. You just take a little bit of white uh, paint and put it on your finger and you just kind of blend it in so that that is a little bit more cohesive like these. Oh, I'm loving that pinwheel. <gasps> So I'll put the recipe for that in the description. Basically, you just wet the pigments with GAC 100 because it's made to wet pigments. And then you just add a little bit of 7300 from Bear and then some Liquitex pouring medium and some um, GAC 800 and water. No Floetrol. I think the Floetrol is what dulls the pigments. So yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ciao for now. Mwah. <laughs>